Hello and welcome back, YouTubers, to part two of a ride to the South Downs. We've made it! Woo! If you saw the last episode, or if you didn't, check it out. I'll pop a link up. It was an interesting one. Had a bit of a, a bit of a hairy trip, I should say, down to um, down to Eastbourne from London. Uh, but we've made it, guys. We're here, and we're just heading to Eastbourne Pier. And then this evening, I've got a nice campsite booked. Looks like a really nice like farm farm place, which they use as a campsite as well. So I'm gonna go go there. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna start a fire with my flint and my bushcraft skills, and um, spend the night there. But first off, let's go see the sea. To the seaside. To the seaside. Ah. -ha. I've never been here before. It's one of those British, I'm not hating on British, well I sort of am, but British seaside towns. I'm not the biggest fan, but something about them. The piers are cool. I think we should hop off and go for a walk down. It's got to be done, hasn't it? God, what a sort of calm day on the sea. Might have a coffee and an ice cream. Yeah, so obviously on the seaside towns you get the, um, all of this frontage along the river. You know, if you're in France or a nice warm climate country, you've got all of the restaurants outside and bars and everyone's outside. Whereas in England, it's just like flat. There's nothing outside. All inside because of the weather. I actually really enjoyed the ride down today, although it's not gone too well, my helmet and so on. But the Speedmaster's been on top form. I think they have to park around here somewhere. Hopefully she'll be safe here. Not that I don't trust the lovely people of the British seaside towns at all, but my bags don't have any locks on them. They're literally just like that. Oh well, caution to the wind. So here we are. This is a Eastbourne Pier. It's pretty pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty. It's a nice spot. The sun looks like the sun's going to come out. Walking on the beach. It's pretty uh pretty deep there's like some tight like tractor tracks behind me or something just gonna go up on the pier in a second but you can actually walk under under the pier and then you've got all of these like all of obviously the metal like stilts and everything holding it up it's pretty impressive you can hear the waves sort of rolling in down at the back there it's really quiet there's hardly anyone around but i think we'll head up and get on top of the pier and see what she's like from above so guys, if you're new to this uh, little series, I did the first episode yesterday. Well, actually it was today, <laughs> part one. But uh, yeah, left, so left London. I'm heading down to the South Downs National Park for a little bit of a trip around on the on the bike. We're gonna do a bit of camping um, and visit some, some cool areas. I've looked up on a map, Google Maps, where like a good riding route is. I think I've found a pretty pretty good route that takes in most of the sights to to see in the South Downs National Park. I've made it made it to Eastbourne just to start off at Eastbourne Pier and then you can head sort of east and then up northeast going past um, Beachy Head, uh, Brighton Pier and one I'm really looking forward to actually is Arundel Castle I think that's how you pronounce it. Let's check out Eastbourne Pier and see what it's got to offer lovely British seaside. Wonderful. Pretty uh, flashy looking tea room. How's the tea? Top notch. Perfect tea. Checking my pocket, gotta get a game in since we're here. Test out the joysticks, test the games out. I'm going for um, Angry Birds, the old mallet. 50p, bargain. Well, that was fun. 
quite nice to get out of there actually, it was a bit hectic. <laughs> Gonna have a panic attack or something and there's lights and music. Too much, too much. It's a nice structure, Eastbourne, Eastbourne Pier. Beautiful views, the sun's like sort of just coming down over there in the clouds. It's a nice view back into the sort of seafront with the buildings. Yeah, but basically this is just the start of the um, the bike tour really. Thought we'd just come down here for a bit of fun. A bit of fun and a look around. I'm gonna head back now, I'm gonna grab a coffee, jump on the bike and uh, cruise to our campsite, which is in inland a bit. It's a farm, it looks like a really nice farm. A lot, I had a bit of a problem because most campsites aren't open at the moment. It's en end of October, coming to end of October and the British campsites, all closed obviously because the weather so yeah I, i've managed to find this one and actually uh, it looks quite good but we shall see we'll check it out in a bit go for a ride up there yes everything's still on the bike awesome that's that's good news good uh good start to the trip okay guys so that's eastbourne done i'm sure it's lovely in the summer but uh today just not for me, I think we'll move on. Uh, they are they are cool, the um, the piers in the UK. They're uh, good, cool structures actually. And I guess like the beachside towns back in the day were, were heaving. They're really sort of the place to be, but I think in recent years they've, um, they've sort of taken a turn for the worse. Am I right? I may be wrong. Yeah, I think they used to be really, really hiving, but now they're sort of, they're struggling a little bit, the British seaside towns is a shame. It's pretty cool along the waterfront here though, just riding along. Pretend you're in Miami, just cruising. Oh yes. It's quite pretty actually. Something about it. I hope she's all right. I don't know if you saw that. The lady just tripped over right on the edge of the road. Luckily, it looked like she went onto that nice soft grassy patch. I hope, I hope so. My apologies. Two minutes outside of Eastbourne. It's been a long day. The SD card on my memory card on my GoPro just said it's full. Oh. We can't get any of this footage, but I've literally just come two minutes out of Eastbourne and it's stunning. Like, everything's opened up. We just rode past Beachy Head. Some of the views, this ride's gonna be lovely. The sun's just coming down, heading to the campsite. I was getting a bit worried back there in Eastbourne. I was thinking, oh no, did I, did I pick a bad route? Like a bad, not plan it too well, but no. Uh, it's turning out good as soon as you get out of the town. Yeah, it's stunning. Um, but yeah, sorry, the GoPro, we're not going to have any footage. I'll try and get as much on my phone as I can, but we'll get to the campsite and tomorrow have a, have a big day of getting some lovely footage with the beautiful scenery. So that was a bit of a bugger. Another lesson learned. But we're here, and I can tell you, seriously, that ride from Eastbourne to Stud Farm uh, campsite I'm at now is, wow. I've, ne I've never been around this area before. It's beautiful, really, really beautiful. Like amazing views over the sea, sun setting. You've got like the sun rays through the clouds and these steep cliffs and great biking roads as well. Really good biking roads. So yeah, plans going, going well. It's a uh, good route shame the gopro wasn't on but we'll catch it tomorrow 100 percent out i'm gonna head back actually head back to beachy head i can't remember what it's called there's like a country the uh, seven sisters country park road past it it's like water or estuaries coming in from the sea looks beautiful so tomorrow morning gonna get up nice and early and head back to beachy head seven sisters do some riding get some beautiful views in and just show you what it's all about. It's really nice. So I'm here now. I'm going to really quickly set up the tent before it gets dark because I want to show you around this campsite tonight as the sun's going down. It is banging. Stud farm. Seriously. I'll show you in a bit. Let's get the tent up. All your gear ready to go. I 
below here. It's a beauty. Couldn't sleep without her. And being October, winter sleeping bag time. Mega thick. So all set up. Just gonna get some of the bags in so they don't get wet. And then hopefully if it's still light, I'll show you this view now. So there's my little pitch right down in the back corner. Over there's all the South Downs and that's inland. Beautiful rolling hills. If we spin around this way, towards the sea. The reason I went for the spot back there, um, just because I came in, the lady said, um, the wind comes whipping over the top of this hill and down the valley. Um, and I'm in my little one man tent. She suggested I go far back in that. Oh, there I am, the corner there, because the wind comes whipping through this valley over the top. The best views are up by the sea, just walking up there now. Um, but yeah, I thought they're safe. Quite like to get a little bit of sleep, so get some shelter down there. But let me show you this view. It's probably not quite so spectacular now. The clouds have come over. It'll be gorgeous in the morning though. So this is the view from Stud Farm campsite. They've got a little, that's the toilets and the shower block, which is good. I love this. Now this is what a campsite should be like. I'm really surprised. Didn't see many of this in the Alps, but I'm gonna try, try and get up for sunrise tomorrow and watch the sunrise. Where actually, I think it'll probably be coming up behind us, but that'll be nice light lighting up all of these clouds in the sea, so we'll give that a go. So apologies guys, but they didn't uh, prep my firewood. It's a bit of a shame, but not to worry because the lady there, nice ladies, just said, I'm walking down this track, literally in the middle of, no <laughs> middle of nowhere. Nothing around. Apparently there's a pub down right by the coast. It's called the Smuggler's Inn, which sounds pretty cool. So I'm gonna go down to the pub and have a, have a pub meal, a couple of pints, and then um, stumble back in the dark. South Downs. Sketchy day, but all good. Nice one tomorrow, guys. We'll go um, some beautiful views and nice roads. And we'll catch the sunset in the morning. Be sure to check that out. Cheers. Ciao, Bella. Mental health awareness. Stay happy.